In this video, I'm going to talk about the chapter 4 data transfers. Uh, we are going to see data transfer instructions. Uh, we are going to talk about operand data types, uh, direct memory operands, move instructions, there are our assigned extensions, x exchange instructions direct offset instructions okay for the operand types uh, we can use constant integers uh, that are called immediate uh, values uh, also registers uh, that can be used as operand uh, types uh, you can use eax ebx ecx edx uh, esi edi uh, Memories means uh, variables, and uh, we can declare variables uh, in the data segment. Uh, memories uh, reference to a location in a RAM. So whenever we declare a variable, and the computer is going to allocate a uh, memory space for us. So this is uh, the instruction operand notations. So you can use uh, 8 bit register or 16 bit register or 32 bit register. Uh, the uh, immediate values uh, can be uh, 8 bit immediate byte value or 16 bit immediate word value or 32 bit immediate double word values. Uh, for the variable, same thing 16 bit, 32 bit, or 8 bit. Here we have a few examples uh, to show how to use uh, direct memory operands. Uh, we have two segments here. The data segment uh, allows us to declare variables. The code segment uh, allows us to uh, write the uh, instructions. So in the data segment, uh, we have one declaration for variable one. The data type is a byte and the initial value is 10H, so it has a decimal value. In the coding segment, uh, we are going to use move instruction. We are going to move variable 1 into AL. This means we are going to copy value from variable 1 into AL. After this, AL will be uh, 10H. Uh, second statement is move variable 1 with bracket uh, into AL. These two statements are equivalent. Both mean we, we are going to copy variable 1's value into AL. Uh, this, uh, this bracket means uh, dereference uh, operator. So both of these means uh, copy values from a uh, variable into a uh, register. Move instruction. Uh, this is one of the most used instructions uh, for data transfer. Uh, we are going to move from a source operand into a destination operand. Uh, it's from right to the left. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, in the data segment, uh, we declare the two variables. The uh, count is uh, by the uh, initial value 100 uh, decimal. Uh, w value is another variable. Uh, it's a word data type with initial value 2. In our code segment, we are going to copy count into BL. We say move from count this source into this destination. Uh, that means we are copying count this value into BL. After this, BL will equal to 100. Second move statement, we are going to copy uh, W value from this two. Uh, copy w value into ax. ax is a half eax. It's a two bytes. A word is a two bytes. So copy from two bytes into two bytes. Let's match the size. Um, we have a few rules we have to follow when we use move instruction. Uh, you cannot have both uh, operands uh, to be a uh, memory location. I mean, you cannot have two operands to be uh, variables. Mm. 
the CSE IP IP cannot be the destination because uh, CS is a code segment, the EIP is a pointer segment, the IP is another important uh, uh, register uh, that cannot be used uh, as destination because they have special meanings. Uh, you cannot uh, no uh, use uh, immediate uh, aid uh, to segment the moves. Uh, there are three examples to show what's going to cause uh, the air. First one is move W value into air. W value data type is word. It's two bytes. You are going to move to air. Air is uh, the lowest byte you ex is one byte. So two byte to one byte is a mismatch the size. Uh, this is not a lot. So whenever you use uh, move instruction, you have to make sure two operands uh, have the same size. So second one, move count into AX. Count is a byte, one byte to two byte not allowed. Okay, uh, mismatch the size. Uh, same thing here. A count is one byte you moving into EAX is four bytes mismatch the size. It's going to cause uh, uh, error. Uh, here you have your turns. Uh, okay, let's see. You you click, you can see the answer. So why uh, there are not uh, uh, valid instructions? Okay, uh, either you have mismatched the size or you have used uh, something illegal, like EIP cannot be destination. The memory to memory not allowed, even the match the size. However, sometimes you do need a move from a source to a destination operand, even they have different size. Uh, you are allowed to move uh, a source with a smaller size into a destination with a bigger size. This is a lot, but you have to use a special instruction. It's called move zero extend. Okay, so that's uh, uh, a special move instruction. Uh, you can see uh, here uh, we have BL uh, with uh, this uh, binary value is a b s and it's one byte. A uh, second statement: uh, If you use move move BL into a x, uh, you if you use regular move statement, it's not a lot because uh, one byte to two byte mismatch size. So you have to use uh, zero extend move statement uh, because you. You try and copy from a smaller uh, uh, operand into a bigger operand. So this only use a half AX. The second half, their upper half, will be extended using zero. So BL uh, will fill up the lower half AX, and the upper half AX will be filled up with zeros. So this is why called a zero extension. Okay. Uh, the destination must be a register. So AX is a register, so this is a lot. You cannot uh, use a uh, variable here. A side extension and uh, move SX. This is another special move statement. Uh, Sometimes you do need to use this. Uh, we, we're going to see when we need to use this later chapters. Here, same thing, we are going to copy from a source to destination. The source size is smaller than the destination. Uh, you only have half to fill up in the destination. For the upper half, you're going to fill up with a sign bid. The leftmost uh, bid is a sign bid for source. So to fill up the upper half of destination, you copy the sign bid into the upper half. Here is the example. Uh, uh, first, you copy this binary value AB into BL. Then you're going to copy BL into AX mismatch size. And here we use using move sign extension. That means copy sign B the one into upper half AX, one byte into two bytes. And the destination must be registered. 
uh, X uh, exchange instruction is uh, are very useful instructions. Uh, uh, you can use this uh, to swap two operands values. Uh, the rule is you have to have at least one operand to be a register. Uh, no immediate uh, operands are permitted. Here is an example. You have two variables, variable one, variable two. Both are uh, word uh, data type on the initial value 10, 1000H, 2000H. Uh, in the coding segment, we are going to use exchange statement to exchange these two variables value. You cannot uh, say exchange variable one with variable two because because this is uh, uh, operand to uh, variable to variable, not allowed. This is a violation of the rules. You cannot to have uh, two operands, both to be your memory location or variables. So what we do is we're going to um, use registers to help out with the swapping. Uh, you're going to Oh, uh, here. Uh, see, uh, this is uh, actually this one won't go in this area. It won't show us uh, the swapping between two variables. It just show us uh, uh, this is not allowed. But you can uh, exchange two registers values if they have the same size. Same thing. You can exchange AH with AL. The first uh, byte of UAS. The second byte of UAS. Uh, you can exchange the values between variable and uh, uh, register, or you can exchange uh, from register to register, and this is uh, four bytes, this is a two bytes, this is one bytes. Uh, this is not a lot of memory to memory exchange. Uh, direct offset operands. Uh, a constant offset is added to a data label to produce an effective address. Uh, the address is a reference to get the value inside its memory location. Uh, in the data segment, we have array B and data type is byte. We have four initial values, and 10H, 20H, 30H, 40H. In the code segment, uh, we first move array B plus one into AR. Array B uh, stands for the first uh, one's address. That means every B is uh, 10 H's address. To get the uh, 20 H's address, we need to use uh, uh, every B, that means 10 H's address plus one. 10 H and 20 H are one byte apart because uh, each of these use one byte for storage, so there are one byte apart, one byte apart, one byte apart. So jump t from first address to the second address, you just need to add one byte. So that's why we use uh, every B, this stands for 10 H's address plus one to get a 20 H's address. So we can copy 20 H into air. Uh, these two statements are equivalent. Uh, we use a dereference operator, uh, there's a bracket, uh, they are doing the same thing. Okay, this is called direct offset operands. Uh, why doesn't uh, every B plus one produce 11H? Because uh, computers are going to uh, use uh, address, uh, that means uh, dereference the content, uh, copy the content into air, not their, uh, not their, uh, not this ones because this is not a value. This is address calculation. Uh, one more example. Uh, so AX, every W, every D, two arrays. One is word, one is double word. One has three values, another has four values. Uh, first one, you're going to copy every W plus two into AX. Every W stands for the first uh, 10,000 address. You plus two, plus two bytes, that means you get a second one's address because uh, 1000 H, 20 hundred H, these two uh, elements are two bytes apart because they are water data type. 
So plus two, every W plus two, you get the second one's address. You plus four, you get uh, the third one's address. That's why AX is uh, uh, 3080. Here, pay attention. Uh, every W is word is two byte, so that's why we use AX. AX is a half UX. Uh, to get the, the every D plus four, every D stands the this one's address. You plus four, that means you get a second one's address. Uh, this is a D word, two four bytes apart. So you every name um, plus four, you get a second one's address. Uh, so that's why you as equals two uh, H in this statement. Your turn. Write a program that arranges the values in this array. Uh, you start with array 1, 2, 3, and after you finish, you're supposed to have 3, 1, 2. Uh, you can use the uh, ex exchange uh, statement. Uh, First step is you're going to copy every W, every D's value into UX. Then you exchange UX with the second one's address because plus four means two. So this means you swap value between one and two. Uh, after this, you should have a uh, every two, one, three. Uh, step two. You're going to exchange UX with uh, uh, every D plus W, every, uh, every D plus 8. Every D plus 4 is the second one, plus 8 is the third one. So you're going to exchange 2 with 3. And then you're going to copy the uh, UX. UX is uh, uh, the one that you copy into every, uh, every D. So after you finish, you should have value 3, 1, 2 in place. So this example shows us how to use exchange. Uh, make sure when you use exchange, you don't swap two values to operate with uh, uh, variables. That's why we use UIs to help out. Write a program to add up these three values. Okay. Uh, it's like uh, you are going to uh, sum up this uh, array. So first you're going to copy my bytes. My bytes uh, means the first one's address. So you copy uh, my bytes into L. Uh, this means you're going to copy 88 into L. Then add ATH, that means AR with uh, my best plus one, that means add with 66 H. Then add another one, add AR with my best plus two, that means this one. So these three lines allow you to add three numbers together. If you call library function dump register, you're going to see the final values. Uh, we can try this in the Visual Studio. Uh, this is another example. Mm. Uh, anything wrong with this? Uh, let's take a look. Uh, first, you're going to move zero extend uh, my byte into AX. Uh, my byte is byte. This is a two bytes. So AX is two bytes. So mismatch size, uh, you use a special move that's called a zero extend. Uh, upper half of AX will get zero. Then you're going to move BL with my best plus one. This is okay because BL is uh, having this one right now, 66 H. Then you add BX uh, with AX. Mm. Then you're going to add uh, move BL with uh, my best plus two. That means uh, this one. Then you're going to add uh, BS into AX. So finally, AX is uh, uh, the sum. Is there anything missing? There, uh, there, 
There's something not right about this case. Uh, before you add uh, BS into X, you have to make sure BH. BR is uh, lower by the BX. You need to make sure BH is uh, clean over uh, no garbage in it. So you need to use uh, moves ZX. So here, this move should be move ZX is better. Okay, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you some examples in Visual Studio.